In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install the Bigger Lobby mod, along with a couple of dependencies, using the Thunderstorm mod manager. Using a mod manager for Lethal Company makes it easy to install mods, to keep the mods up to date, and to share mod packs with friends. While I'm focusing on a specific set of mods in this video, the mod manager can be used to install all kinds of mods together, in different profiles. Start by heading to the link in the description, which will take you to the Thunderstorm page. At the top, click Get App, which will redirect you to Overwolf. Thunderstorm Mod Manager is an app within Overwolf, so if you don't already have Overwolf installed, you'll need to go on a side quest, downloading this first. Save it into your downloads folder, or wherever you like. Now, run the installer to quickly get Overwolf set up. Follow the on-screen steps, starting with Next. Select an installation directory, choose whether you'd like a desktop shortcut or not, and agree to their terms of use before clicking Next. In my case, Overwolf was already installed, but after selecting Keep, I was taken to the page you will see if you're installing for the first time. Skip adding the Face Check app and simply click Next. Accept and install, and wait for it to complete. Once the installation is successful, click Launch. With the side quest completed, we can go back to the Thunderstorm Mod Manager download, which conveniently didn't close. Just like before, save it to wherever makes sense. Then, open that directory and run the Thunderstorm Mod Manager installer, which will bring up the Overwolf overlay on the side of your screen, and one of the apps, Thunderstorm Mod Manager, which you can click to open. When the Mod Manager first opens, you'll be presented with a list of games. Needless to say, we're going to select Lethal Company from this list. After selecting a game, we'll be taken to the Profile Selection screen. Start by creating a new profile. Give the profile a name, which ideally represents the mods you're planning to get installed, and then click Create. If you have more than one profile, click the one you want to use and make changes to, and then select Profile. After selecting your profile, the My Mods page will be empty, so we need to get some mods. This page will show you a list of hundreds of different mods available. The first two we want to grab should be pinned at the top. Clicking LC API should expand it and show a download button. Download with dependencies, and it's added to the profile. Now do the same for BepinX. Downloading with dependencies, and it's added to the profile as well. With both of the dependencies added to the profile, it's time to search for the bigger lobby mod. Again, click it to expand, select Download, Download with Dependencies, and there you go, it's added to the profile as well. Go back to My Mods, where you will now see all three mods we just added. Next to each one there is a toggle option to enable or disable them, and when disabling mods with dependencies, the mod manager will automatically warn you. At the top, there's also two options, Modded and Vanilla. Clicking Modded will launch the game through Steam using the profile and the mods that we selected. A BepinX terminal window will launch in the background before the game opens up. And then, once on the main menu, we can verify that the mods have worked. We see Mod in the bottom left. And when hosting a game, in this case, we see the max players, indicating the bigger lobby mod has been installed. An advantage of using a mod manager is that without making any changes, we can now click the vanilla option and launch straight into a vanilla version of the game, which can be verified on the menu screen where mod is not shown in the bottom left. Hosting a game, the max players option is not shown either, indicating the mod is not installed. Lastly, quickly and easily importing and exporting mod profiles. Most mods require every player in the lobby to have the mod installed. So this process will make it very easy to ensure your games are compatible. Start by going to Settings, go to Profile, and export your profile either as code or as a file. I would recommend selecting code, copying the code it generates, and sending this to your friend. And then, tell your friend to go to the Profile Selection screen, click Import slash Update, Import New Profile, and paste in this code that you copied. Click Import, and then they can call it whatever they like. The profile can be created, and after selecting it, your friend will have all of the same mods.